Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are finally out, so we have new zones to explore and new Pokemon food webs to construct. So let's get started by looking at Zone 1 of the southern province of Paldea. Most of southern Paldea is similar to Mediterranean grassland or mixed grassland forest habitat, which makes most of our producers a mixture of grasses, shrubs, and trees, with our only Pokemon producer being Hophip. We're going to start off our primary consumers, or organisms that eat producers, with a variety of invertebrates such as insects or earthworms. Pokemon primary consumers include Lechonk and Oinkalone, and also Deerling and Sawsbuck. These Pokemon are mostly eating fruits and nuts, with Lechonk and Oinkalone also foraging for different roots. Pommy is here searching for and storing many different seeds, and Scatterbug and Spupa are feeding off of the many different leaves of the plants. Fido and Doxbun are also primary consumers, which are utilizing fermentation to help break down otherwise indigestible plant material. This is similar to modern day ruminants such as cows or sheep that also use fermentation. Charcadet and Ralts belong here that are mostly foraging for berries but also rummaging through people's refuse or trash. And Pom Pom Oricorio is here, which is feeding off of the nectar of the mini flowering plants. And I'm just now learning that Oricorio is nectarivorous. But if you want to watch another video about me talking about bird Pokemon or finding out how wrong I am about Oricorio, check out this video on the many different bird Pokemon ecologies. And up next is our secondary consumers, which are consumers that consume consumers. Pokemon here include a variety of predators that are mostly feeding on the mini insects such as Tarantula, Fletchling, Surskit, and a Paldean Wooper. We also have some Pokemon that are going to be preying on other Pokemon, like Houndour hunting down Lechonks and Pommies, or Fletchling preying on our previously mentioned bug types of Scatterbug and Spupa. Or even Spidops, which may function as an apex predator in this region, opportunistically taking any prey unlucky enough to find itself within reach or without a beneficial type matchup. We also have Wingle and Pelipper that are mostly Pisivores, eating fish-like Pokemon out at sea or small fish in the ponds found across this region. And finally, our last category for every complete food web belongs to our Detritivores. These are organisms that feed on decaying plant and animal material and are sometimes called scavengers, but this role can also be filled by organisms like fungi. This category is important for cleaning up the landscape and for recycling nutrients back into the soil and the environment. This category is represented by Toad School that inhabits the damper locations in Area 1. Toad School is mostly going to be feeding on and breaking down a decaying plant material and helps ensure that our landscape across Area 1 is not covered in fallen trees and logs. And that completes our first food web for the Paldea region. Let me know what you all think of videos like this and if you want more, and let me know if you're enjoying the game so far. If you liked this video, remember to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this on Pokemon Biology and Ecology, and as always, thanks for watching.